Parliamentary Councillor, Embassy of India, Mr. D. J. Chandran, distinguished guests, respected elders, and dear brothers and sisters. Ishwaramma was the physical mother of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. To remember her, children around the world celebrate 6th May as Ishwaramma Day. We, the Baldikas children of Thailand, welcome you to join us in remembering the great mother who lived her life only to help others. As per scientific results, light generates certain chemicals in the brain which uplifts our feelings. Life on earth is also sustained by light. That is why light has been given special importance and all auspicious ceremonies are started by lighting lamps. I request our chief guest, Mr. D. J. Chandran, to come on stage and light the lamp. Vedas are the oldest scriptures which were revealed to the rishis during deep meditation by Supreme Brahma. Veda chanting, if done with proper tonal note, can generate such vibrations that the prayers reach directly to the deity, even if the person does not know the actual meaning of the prayers. Also, its chanting calms the mind and improves memory power. Matter on this earth is made up of particles which are in constant vibration. We all know that unstable uranium particles can generate enormous nuclear power. Our rishis realized the power of mantras and achieved other great powers by chanting them with proper tonal note. Sai youth around the world are learning and chanting Vedas. Our group 3 and ex Bhavika st students will recite Ganpati Prarthana and Atharvashisha. Let every atom of this atmosphere be charged with God's glory and may he bless us all. Mahe Kabim Kabina Upamashabastamam Jesharajam Brahmanam Brahmanas Pataana Shrimvan Notibisi the Sadhanam Rano Devi Sadaswati Vaje Be Vajini Vati Dinama Vitya Vatu Ganesha Yamaha Saraswate Namaha Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Yom Oi <laughs> Vameva Sarvam Kalvidam Ramasi Vam Sakshadatma Sinityam Ritam Bhatsmi Satyam Bhatsmi Avatvamam Avabhaktaram Avashrotaram Avadhataram Avadhataram Avanujanam Avasishyam Avapaschatat Avapurastat Avam mayas bam chin mayaha, Vamananda mayas bam brahma mayaha, Vam satchidananda dvidi yosi, Vam pratyaksham brahmasi, Vam jnana mayo vijnana mayosi, Sarvam jagadidam tvatto jayate, Sarvam jagadidam tvattas tishtati, Sarvam jagadidam tvayla meshati, Sarvam jagadidam tvay pratyeti, Vam satchitrayat makaha, Vam yogi no dhyayanti nityam Vam brahmas, vam vishnus, vam rudras, vam indras, vam magnis, vam vayus, vam suryas, vam chandramas, vam brahma burdhu vasvarom Ganadim purva murcharya, varnadim sadanantaram Anusvara parataraha, aradhendulasitam, tare naridham, etattava manusvarupam Gakara Purva Rupam, Akaro Madhyama Rupam, Anusvara Shanta Rupam, Binduruttara Rupam, 
नाधसंधानम सगंगिता संधि सैशा गणेश विद्या गणका ऋषि ही निश्चित गायत्री चंदा हा गणपतिर देवता ओम गण गणपत ये नमः एक दंता ये विद्महे बक्रतुंडा ये धीमहि तन्नो दंते प्रचोदयात् एक दंतम चक्र हस्तम आसमं कुशधारिनम गदम चवरदम हस्ते विभ्रानमु शकत बजम रक्तम लंबोदरम सुरपकर्णकम रक्तवाससम रक्तगंधानुरित्तम गम रक्तपुष्पे सुपुजितम भक्तानुकंपिनम देवम जगत्कार नमक्षितम आवेर भूतम चशिष्यादो प्रकृते पुरुषात्मरम एवं ध्यायति यो नित्यम सयोगि योगि नाम वरह नमो व्रात पतये नमो गण पतये नमः प्रमत पतये नमस्ते अस्तुलं भोदराय कदंताय विज्ञानाशिनि सिवसताय वर्धमुर्ताये नमः ओम शांति 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 ही यदक्षरा पदा ब्रष्टम मात्रा ही नम तु यद भवे तत्सर्वं चम्यताम देवा नारा यन्न नमोस्तुते विसर्ग बिंदु मात्रानि पद पादाक्षरानि च न्यूनानि च तिरिक्तानि चमस्तसाइश्वरा अपराज सहस्रानि त्रियंते हरि सम्मया दासो यमिति मामत्मा चमस्तसाइश्वरा अन्यथा शरणम् नास्ति वमे वशरणम् मम तस्मात् कारुण्य भावे न रक्षरक्षसाइश्वरा हरि ओम सच सच श्री साई स्वरात्मनमस्तु प्रेयर्स कॉल्स तोत्रस तू वर्क डेटीज इन आर नेक्स्ट इवेंट प्लीज वेलकम ग्रुप वन एंड टू चिल्ड्रन फॉर स्तोत्र रिसाइटल्स दिस रिसाइटल्स इफ डन थ्रू डिवोशन काम डाउन द माइंड
Now, I call upon Pranati Kavi, a graduated Balvika student, to share her experiences of Balvika. Bhagavan Shri Satya Sai Baba. Today's generation is a time where the young feel that taking the easier way out is the best, without realizing the true way of life, the more they weigh him down. Relating to this, my life had been going through the wrong way, always wanting more and more desires and not being able to put a seal upon them. Having been in Balvikas and graduating, throughout the beginning, I didn't either understand or had the knowledge of what I was doing. But as those gushing years passed by, my faith had gently risen. Before I became a strong believer, I had been on the wrong path. I was not concentrating much on anything that I was doing. But it seemed like Baba wanted me to see his real power and send me this wonderful people. I still have people in my life who are still and who are the, the true devotees. First, I would like to mention my mother, who is a very strong devotee and is always ready to serve him. I would also like to mention Uncle Surinda, who is the head of the region. He is always inspiring us with small stories and telling us how we can be dedicated. He never misses even the small things weekly bhajans, monthly sevas, as well as you at what I have done. A few of his teachings that I'd like to mention is education. He says, the end of education is character. Education is greatly important, not only in the regular school and college education, but the spiritual side is also needed. A person might be extremely intelligent and successful, but by the time he dies, he might feel that something was missing and that something was character. Your character will determine the inside of you from the spiritual side. When I heard this, I started feeling that something had grown in me. Sometimes I started becoming calmer, though I still do get angry. People around me had seen a change. They started getting positive vibes. I had improved in my studies. Before graduating from Balvikas, the Nine Code of Conduct seemed such a burden like monthly sevas, weekly bhajans, meditation every day, but now it's a part of my life, a habit that I won't let go. Following that, the human values are also an equal part that I follow. Truth, right conduct, peace, speak the truth all the time, and make the right decision, love all and serve all. But as far as I have reached, Swami's teachings has enabled me to reach the height of having more confidence in myself and doing more than what I'm capable of doing. I thank Swami for the blessings that he has given me to pass on to my family and allowing me to be a part of his contagious love and involve me in his work and make me a way of happiness to those who are less fortunate than me. I'm glad to say today I stand in a position of life with high expectations for many things that Swami will help me. I thank you all for supporting me and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you and Sai Ram. Shri Satya Sai Baba. Sai Ram, respected elders and dear brothers and sisters. Every aspect of Balvikas, every single thing that I've learned in it has transformed me somehow or the other. It may be in my spiritual life or my actions or my personality and so on. Balvikas taught me 
about today's major religions and their basic teachings. I developed a sense of respect for all the religions with these teachings. I realized that all of the religions are different paths leading to the same exact source. I developed a feeling of oneness and I became more open-minded. At the same time, I accepted others' beliefs and followed my own. Balvikas taught me how to be a good Hindu. I learned about the Mahabharat, the Gita, the Ramayana, and so on. Meditation was something that Balvikas taught me, which helped my life immensely. Meditation taught me how to keep control of my monkey mind. My mind kept on jumping from one thought to another. I couldn't concentrate on one thing. My homework used to be full of mistakes which could have been corrected if I was paying attention. But because of meditation, my mind became more concentrated. I could concentrate on what I was doing. I spent time on homework incredibly less. I studied for exams for less amount of time. I had more time to do extracurricular activities. As Baba says, master the mind and become a mastermind. That was very true by meditation. But above all, the main thing that meditation did to me was that it helped me grow spiritually, which is its main aim. Something that Balvikas taught me, which I still, which will be until I get old, is called sanskar. I tried to find an English equation to this, but I couldn't find it. So I had to come up with my own. And according to me, in English, sanskar can only be translated as well-cultured or maybe good morals. But I'd like the term sanskar better. So Balvikas taught me sanskar such as respecting your elders, respecting your teachers, and respecting your books since they're Saraswati and so on. These sanskars, along with the five human values, namely truth, right conduct, peace, love, and nonviolence, molded me to become a good citizen in tomorrow's world. Now, Balvikas not only helped me in my spiritual life,